Uh, one of the most important things facing our future is managing water. Water is really highly renewable. It recycles very quickly in the, um, in the, in the geosphere and the environment, but the, the availability of water at the right place with the right quality is an enormous challenge. But the rainfall happens in one place, but the Nile River flows northward and out in Egypt. If you ask an Egyptian or a Sudan citizen, or if you ask uh, environmental lawyers, or if you ask the United Nations or the World Bank, who owns that water? Because of some treaties, colonial era, when England controlled much of this area, water in the Nile River, even if it's in Sudan, does not belong to the Sudanese. It belongs to the Egyptians and the Sudanese about 80% to the Egyptians, 20% to the Sudanese. The idea that water is in one place controlled by one political group and water is used in another place controlled by another political group, d does that remind you of anything? Something that looks like the Nile Basin is the Colorado River Basin. Much of the water in the Colorado River comes from the Pacific side of the Rocky Mountains and water works its way through the system pretty much ends in Mexico. If you don't reuse your water and nobody else does, it just goes, you lose it. Use it or lose it. You can't bank it for year after year. Arizona started building recharge projects. The, the, the canal itself is a pretty cool feat of engineering, moving water by gravity uh, and maybe a, a, a lift pump station here and there, under through mountains, into pipes, around mountains. And these recharge projects, is just putting water underground and using it later exactly the kind of thing that happens in nature. Rainfall that can soak into the ground uh, goes into the groundwater aquifers and can be used later. And that's one of the things these investments in long-term storage underground will enable Arizona to delay problems of drier conditions because of climate change. But there are a lot of other problems with water in Arizona. Small towns have a lot fewer options in Arizona for water. There are no canals coming to these small towns. There's certainly no canals coming to the tribal lands, although they have closer access to the Colorado River itself and pipeline type projects are, are possible there. There can be groundwater, like I was talking about in Africa, but the groundwater close to the surface is often contaminated with naturally occurring arsenic and uranium. And these things are mobilized into the water more because of human things like mining. So the water could be there, but could not be safe to drink in some cases. All around the tribal lands, there's access to water to haul, to put into pickup trucks like this, uh, that take advantage of deeper aquifers that have better water. But water scarcity is acutely serious right here in Arizona with tribal lands. It's, it's as bad as any of the other places in the world I've ever worked. I don't think there's ever been a, a more interesting time to be uh, an engineer uh, because there's so many problems to solve and so many innovative solutions to those problems. And this is gonna be a major factor within your careers. That's what we'll be working on for the foreseeable future is solving some of these basic problems.